Hello. Good morning. So, do not mind my messy bed hair ish. But yeah, I am making my second cup of coffee before I go and study for the day. Um, yeah, I have to write a. Well, it's not usually a short story with me because. With me, what's supposed to be short ends up turning into 200 words. So if you hear noises, it's because my Keurig machine is going. So today's, I apologize for the noise that you're about right here. It's the Keurig turning on. It's me also doing what I need to do. But I just wanted to kind of do this. So today's video is about um, dating. What do you think I was gonna say? Today's video is sponsored by now. I'm not sponsored. I don't get paid for this. Uh, I wish I got paid. That'd be great. <laughs> I'd probably put it right back into my investing uh, portfolio. But no, I don't get paid for it. Um, I'll touch on that, on why I'm not doing the whole join button yet. But yeah. Um, trying to do this with my left hand while driving my joy, while driving my, while driving my joystick, while driving my wheelchair. Um, so today's video is about dating. Um, today's dating scene is a lot different than what it was when I was single. Uh, and that was, oh, I hate this refrigerator. I have to keep it open with my leg and try to drive with my left arm while holding my camera. Maybe I should have waited to do this, but whatever. You guys can kind of see the frustration. Um, eh, creamer. All right, got the creamer. Um, so today's dating world is different than what it was when I was single, uh, back in 2016. I don't know what happened. Uh, society changed something, um, you know, something happened. Um, look, I'm not gonna lie or anything like that. Sorry, I'm, I have, I'll show you. Um, I've always had problems dating like this as a quad, as, well, I'll just say as a quad because what people see is somebody in a wheelchair. They don't care about the character or anything like that. I mean, I could, I could literally put how much I make and it, it doesn't matter. They don't care. Uh, this is what I was grabbing from the refrigerator. So I used to buy Keurigs, the, the K-Cups, because I can't do coffee pots. Because uh, the way I have to uh, hold a coffee pot is my left hand is my strong hand. Strong hand! Uh, and then my right hand has more extensors on the wrist side. Whereas my left hand is weak in the wrist. So if I try to grab a gallon of milk, yes, it can hold the handle, but it will drop the gallon of milk. My wrist will do this. So I use K-cups, um, but this isn't your normal K-cup. I found out that buying the K-cups are expensive. Uh, I got the 48 pack and it was like, I can't remember. So I got the refillable K-cups and I went and got Folgers and it's so much more cheaper. So yeah, no, no affiliation link, nothing like that. Um, it's just, I broke it down. Uh, <laughs> um, anyway, so I've always had problems dating um, after my injury. And now that I'm single again, I've realized that I don't know. You're gonna see my, hopefully I can do this. Prop it up against my air fryer. I apologize for my thumb. I apologize for any other. Hopefully I don't turn this off. Hopefully it doesn't fall either. Okay, don't fall. Um, so dating has been extremely hard for me. Um, I'm very upfront with my injuries. I did hide it at one point back as a quad um but now I, I don't care um i'm very upfront and like 
you know, this is who I am. Um, this, these are my flaws. I mean, I think I even have on there, like I'm, I went to therapy, right? I'm still in therapy. Um, and it's not like, it's not like bad therapy. It's more of, I recognize that I have character flaws in myself that I am trying to work on because of my traumatic brain injury. So I'm a very logical person and I am trying to work on that. I'm trying to, what's the best way to explain it? I get frustrated. Um, I get stressed out and frustrated when things don't go my way. Like if I plan something and all of a sudden something goes awry, I get very frustrated. Um, I'm very quick with my anger, which another one of my Marine friends is like this. We get very quick, but then our anger dissipates. It's just poof and we're done and that's it. Whereas normal people get angry and they're angry all day. For us, it's just big burst. We're done. Um, what else? I have a hard time understanding other emotions and I'm trying to work on that. So I've been working on the empathy part, which seems weird, but it's, it's after my TBI, it was a part of me that kind of got separated. I don't know. There was, I think my ex-wife kind of pointed it out. Like there was a point in the hospital, she was in the hospital and she asked me, she was like, hey, can you bring me a medication? And I asked her, I was like, it's almost a 30 minute drive one way. Then I have to find parking. Then I have to pay for the parking. Why can't you just have your doctor uh, prescribe it for you? And to me, that seems logical. For her, it just didn't seem like I was being empathetic. So I'm trying to work on that. And I'm very upfront with women and my friend has said he's a very good looking guy that's not gay don't care you can make fun of me but I can recognize when somebody is good looking versus um versus average or whoa <laughs> um and he has pointed out he was like at one point he was like I get these good looking chicks and there was these hot they were, these were these average chicks who were pointing me down because of my situation. And he's like, do you think it's your situation? I was like, absolutely. Um, I think it is my situation. Because before my injury, I used to be six foot tall, which is apparently what women want, which I don't understand. I guess research shows that height equals success. If I have any women followers, could you please explain that to me? Because height does not equal success. Um, whatever. Um, I make three times the average American. So <laughs> I got my shit together. Yes, I'm living in an apartment building, but I also don't know where I want to live in the United States. Yes, it unfortunately does have to be in the United States. Um, I've worked on my mental shit. I'm going to school. Like, I understand I'm not the average man. I really do understand that. I know that's going to take somebody special. But it's just, is it society has changed that much? I've also seen studies that... 46% men are on dating websites and they're staying on there longer. And it's just like, if the average man, average being, you know, normal, because I'm not normal. Let's face it. I mean, I, I like when I say I am upfront about my injuries, I think it's either on Matt. I think I might have changed Facebook dating. Yes, I'm on Facebook dating. Ugh. Facebook dating match. Ugh. 
Um, I think I changed it on Facebook dating, but I think at one point it did say served in the Marines from 2005 or 05 because I had to save characters 05 to 0 to, or 12, <laughs> 012, uh, 12, and I got injured twice and now I have somebody else's arms attached to me. I'm the modern day Dr. Frankenstein, blah, 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 super sweet, blah, 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 blah. Um, but I think on match, I have th I had 5,000 characters and I was very upfront about, you know, the arm transplant. I'm not going to hide it. If somebody's going to like me for me, I'm not going to try to sit there and um, try to, like, kind of peek around the bush and try to disguise, like, my injuries. And I'm not hiding... Like, my lower half, I'm not trying to, just like, be, like, one of my photos, oh, yeah, one of the photos is literally the thumbnail um, of the last video. It's me sitting in my wheelchair with my suit and my best friend and his um, service dog. Like, there it is. You want to see who I am? Like, that's me. So, I would... If I have a lot of, like, American-bound women um, that follow me or who are subscribers here, I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. Like, what is going on? <laughs> also, uh, if I have... I, I know I have quite a few men in, in here. Um, so I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. As you saw last time, somebody said something. I don't want to put their business on here. Um, and of course, I always respond to those, not those that warrant responses, because that sounds, that sounds bad. That sounds like only a few of you warrant responses. Um, but I respond to things that are very like, personal but there was somebody that res that said something that was like oh i should respond to that um it was a good response though it, it, if you go back to the last video you'll you'll see what i'm talking about um but yeah i would love to hear your guys's response or your 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 guys's thoughts on this like has society changed i know that because women are making more therefore they can be a little bit more pickier um, the whole OnlyFans thing, which is something that I've encountered. I, I, sorry, I'm not, mm -mm, not dealing with that. Mm -mm. I'm not, yeah, no. <laughs> um, and yeah, has society really changed that much where women are just being pickier? Uh, like I said, my, one of my same guy, the same guy I mentioned with the anger, as same as me. Uh, good looking dude. Like I said, he asked one of the women that he matched with, she had over 1,500 matches. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> How is that possible <laughs> in this area? Um, yeah. So, um, but yeah, I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts. Probably won't do a thumbnail. Or maybe I'll just do one like this. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll just do one like this. Um, all right. I gotta go study. Well, I gotta go write a paper for English. So, let me know your guys' thoughts. And, uh, I gotta think about the next video. Or if you guys have thoughts. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. Have a good day, everybody. I'll talk to you later.